You're watching Channel 13, WTHR, Indianapolis. Now, John Stair, Ann Ryder, Bob Gregory's Skytrack Forecast, and Sports with Dave Calabro, Central Indiana's number one late newscast. This is Channel 13 Eyewitness News tonight. The IU basketball star once stripped of his Mr. Basketball title is off the team tonight. Good evening. I'm Ann Ryder. John Stair has the night off. Dave Calabro joins us with more on the arrest of Sharon Wilkerson. Dave? Yeah, some late breaking news on this for IU fans. You'll want to hear about this. Sharon Wilkerson arrested at 3 in the morning for domestic abuse. Neighbors called police. They say Wilkerson was fighting with his girlfriend. Wilkerson then spent 12 hours in the Monroe County Jail. Now, IU Sports Information Director Greg Elkins says that Coach Knight dismissed Wilkerson from the team today. And Coach Knight has also begun taking the necessary steps to revoke Wilkerson's scholarship. The athletic director agrees with the coach's actions, we're told. Again, Sharon and Wilkerson kicked off the Indiana basketball team after being arrested for domestic abuse. So that's the latest information we have on that, and uh, we'll give you more coming up in sports. All right, but they're being a little bit tight-lipped about what that abuse may have right, entailed, alleged right. abuse. So at this point, we don't have all the details, so that's what we know at this point from Monroe County. Off the team. Right. All right, thank you. Of course, the other big story Hoosiers are talking about is how dangerously cold it is. Everybody's talking about how long this Arctic chill will hang on. Let's go to Bob Gregory for first weather. Bob? Well, the Weather Service had wind chill advisories out earlier in the day. Anytime they go below 20 degrees, below 20 to 35, which they were in the uh, metropolitan area today, that is extremely dangerous. So wind chills were in that minus 35 category. The wind has lessened somewhat, and so all of the well, sub-zero wind chills are up north. But look at some of the temperatures around the region. Apache clouds out here now, but two at Bloomington, nine. Cincinnati and the uh, Lafayette area, eight up in Muncie. But look at the, uh, well, sub-zero, I guess, wind chill temperature still. Minus 18 wind chill out of South Bend, minus 11 in Fort Wayne, and minus 3 out of the uh, Muncie area, minus 5 in Lafayette, and things then are not quite so severe. What we're going to look at tomorrow morning, we should have partly sunny skies out. We're expecting temperatures to be below zero, not only here in Indianapolis, but in Muncie as well, and right at the zero mark in Lafayette. It's going to be a while before we get back to near normal, which is 33 degrees, and that may come late in the weekend. I'll talk more about that in next week's weather as well, coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Bob. If you think this weather is hard on your body, consider your auto's body. A byproduct of the 50-degree drop in temperatures is monster chuck holes. Metro area commuters are learning to do the pothole dodge. David McNally got a first-hand look at some of the destruction and what could be awaiting all of us this weekend. He joins us live from the newsroom with more. David? And we just came back from 38th and Meridian, where crews are working on a huge hole there, or what could become one. Two pieces of pavement separated. They fell in, collapsed in on themselves for some reason late this morning. They're still not sure why, still not sure if it's weather related. Obviously, commuters tomorrow are going to have a heck of a time dodging these things all around town. If you're going to be driving, it's going to be one of those weekends. So you think it's cold? Well, you're right. And with wind chill, it felt like minus nine. In a few minutes, we felt and saw it drop a degree. The cold could be behind the collapse of this section of 38th and Meridian early today. Just one more fix-it-up job for the state DOT. It's run us pretty ragged, actually. We've been running all over town chasing the large chuck holes, which kind of makes it frustrating. Uh, we're trying to get everything we can out here so the small ones don't turn into big ones on us. At City DOT's nerve center tonight, Central dispatch. a pile of phone complaints about potholes, frozen traffic lights, and more. And I'm listing the ones that have barricades on them, which, ha which means that there has been some type of car damage, and those will be our top priority locations that we will patch. Uh, control to 513, Mr. Ponder. DOT has two crews on tonight filling emergency potholes and others like this one at 12th and Emerson. Does this monster need a second load? Oh, uh, well. More than 20 crews will be on duty pulling more overtime tomorrow. You guessed it, filling potholes. The thawing and the refreezing all puts pressure on the moisture underground. That forces it upward and literally explodes the pavement out. Look down here, the debris field scattered from that pothole. It goes on for about 10 or 15 feet, and it's like the surface of the moon. Well, hey, what I do is to sell barricades, you know, like cave frames for chuck holes, cave-ins, and uh, 
Stuff like that. Seeing a lot of those with this yeah. weather? Yeah, seeing a lot of them. So watch yourself wherever you travel. You might want to stay away the next couple of days anyway from 38th Street and Meridian. It's probably going to be closed at least through the rest of the weekend. Just coming back from up there a few minutes ago, police also have that entire intersection closed. It used to be you could go south on Meridian or west on 38th, but they have that entire area blocked. It looks, too, like there might be some sort of a water leak or water main problem there. Some of the streets south of it have fresh standing water, uh, water that is not yet frozen in the gutter. So be very careful as you commute through that area. What a mess, and we're only halfway through winter. Really? Thanks, David. Sure. If you think we have it rough, though, take a look at this incredible scene. A town in West Virginia is underwater. Every single person in Marlington was evacuated when the Greenbrier River overflowed its banks during the brief warm spell. Tonight, the river is five feet above flood stage. Tonight, two men are safe and back on dry land after a dramatic rescue off the coast of North Carolina. The Coast Guard saved three people from their sinking fishing boat off the Outer Banks today. 50 mile an hour winds were no match for the fishermen's boat. Coast Guard crews plucked the men from the water and hoisted them above a helicopter. Tonight, a Martinsville mother who left her four-year-old daughter alone with an abusive man is facing 20 years in prison. That sentence came down today for 29-year-old Alice Barrett. Her four-year-old daughter, Hope, was killed after Ms. Barrett left her alone in a motel with an abusive boyfriend while she went to work. He is facing murder charges. Alice Barrett was found guilty of neglect. A sickening and hateful crime against a child has a small town in South Carolina in an uproar tonight. Betty and Benjamin Mims are charged with tying a nine-year-old African-American boy to a tree, punching him and kicking him, firing a shot near his head, hitting him with a crowbar, and trying to strangle him with a belt. They face charges of second-degree lynching. Because I did not do it. And the good Lord knows I didn't do it. He didn't tell his parents right away what had happened. But they detected something was wrong. I don't know where the marks come from. The boy who has marks and bruises lived nearby and was a playmate of the Mims' son. The boy says the Mims accused him of stealing something before they attacked him. Tomorrow, attorneys for the gang called the Ghetto Boys begin their defense on the murder of a girl who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The five men are accused of killing 16-year-old LaShonda Davis in a drive-by shooting in 1993. Davis died when the Blackburn Terrace apartments were sprayed with gunfire. She was not the intended target. Today, nine-year-old Brandon McAllister took the stand for the prosecution. He told jurors a bullet grazed him in the head when he got too close to the window. The prosecution rested its case today. It's getting tense in Bosnia tonight. The deadline to free POWs in Bosnia has come and gone, and still more than half the hostages remain captive. Just 225 of the 900 POWs were actually freed today. Bosnian Serbs, Muslims, and Croats did not give a reason for the delay. Under the peace plan, all prisoners were to have been released unconditionally and not swapped for other prisoners. Four days of terror are over tonight for more than 200 people held captive on a Turkish ferry. They were freed by their Chechen captors. Today, the gunmen threw their weapons over the side of the ship and surrendered. Police say they had threatened to blow up the ferry unless Russia's military halted its attack on Chechen rebels. Despite their surrender, one gunman said the hijacking achieved its goal. On Monday, O.J. Simpson will do something he never had to do in his double murder trial, testify. Simpson is scheduled to give a deposition in the civil case brought against him. He'll be forced to answer questions under oath as to his whereabouts the night Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman were killed. Simpson is expected to spend several days on the stand. Students in the South Madison County School Corporation may soon be able to pause for a moment of silence during the school day. A survey of parents, teachers, and students in Pendleton finds that many would like their children to have the opportunity each day to reflect. They are stopping short, of course, of calling it prayer. So the school corporation is going to do a community-wide survey and also poll the school board about the proposal. Still, it's a bit controversial. Our main concern is, will it be a benefit to the students we serve? And the other concern is, is it going to interrupt the educational process? Indiana law allows for a moment of silence in the classroom as long as it is not associated with prayer or religion. 
still to come tonight on Eyewitness News. A stampede of Colts fans jammed the RCA Dome tonight for a tribute to the team. If you missed the rally in person, we'll give you a front row seat. And tomorrow, George Burns hits a milestone. We'll tell you how he plans to celebrate. And then in our health cast tonight, important information every parent should hear about trampling. Jill Dittmeyer will explain. And here are tonight's winning lottery numbers. Closed captioning of Eyewitness News is brought to you by Sagamore Health Network, providing quality health care programs that are flexible, innovative, and customer-focused. He's six foot two, weighs 265, can bench press over 400 pounds, and you're going to put him in a 19-inch box? We don't think so. Come to Ovation Audio Video. Buy any Mitsubishi big screen, big tube, or VCR and pay no money down, no payments, and no accrued interest for 18 months till summer of 97. Go big. At Ovation Audio Video, three Indianapolis locations. Introducing Channel 13's new troubleshooter reporter, John Baird. His job is to solve problems from consumer fraud to government waste, and he needs your help. Next week, I'm going to ask you to use your telephone to report any wrongdoings that need to be exposed. If you know someone who's being cheated, swindled, or victimized, blow the whistle. I'll investigate and do my best to solve the problem. Watch for the number to call beginning Tuesday at 5 on Eyewitness News. It's coverage you can count on. What makes February different around here? College hoops, right? Wrong. Tough winners? Uh-uh. Tax time? Yes. And tax time means it's time to save at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. They're clearing out inventory, passing great tax savings onto you. Plus now, get 4.85 inching up to 48 months on all 96 Mercuries. Whatever you do, see your Lincoln Mercury dealer before the tax man. Or you could be left out in the cold. Imagine yourself in a Mercury now. What you've been waiting for. Kittle's Great Leather Blitz has arrived. It's our biggest leather sale of the year. When you can save 30 to 50% on the largest selection of top grain leather sofas and chairs in Indiana. Sink into this 100% top grain leather sofa with quality eight-way hand-tied construction. Yours for just $13.99 plus 90 days, same as cash. More styles, more colors, more savings. That's why Kittle sells more 100% leather than anyone. And it's all 30 to 50% off during Kittle's Leather Blitz. Going on now. A few thousand fans braved the cold tonight to get loud and proud for their Indianapolis Colts one more time. Channel 13 Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Rogalski has more on the salute to a spectacular season. Decked out in blue and white one more time, Indianapolis fans saluted their Colts into the offseason. And it didn't matter, they fell one step shy of the Super Bowl. No matter what happened, they they show good sportsmanship. I don't think there's a better team in the United States. The Colts, in return, took time out to salute the fans for their support. First, from skipper Ted Marchabrota. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you exceeded our wildest expectations. Believe me. And down the roster, it was all smiles from the boys who surprised the sports world. It's been a tough season. And we've learned a lot of things from each other, and we've learned how to fight, and we've learned how to win. You guys deserve a lot of credit. I want you guys deserve a lot of credit. But um, look for bigger and better things next year. We learn how to win. Let it rip. It makes me a lot of, you know, really proud and everything that um, they're willing to come out here and talk to us after the season's over, and I'm uh, just real proud of them. And everybody is already looking to get loud and proud again. Speaking for these guys that are behind me and these coaches, and if you feel anything like I do, you can't wait for next year. The hope is all the fireworks and season-ending celebrations will come two weeks later next year. At the Dome, Jeremy Rogalski, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Nice. A total of 32 players and coaches showed up for the rally. 2,500 fans came out on this rigid night to cheer them on. Well, this make, may make you feel old. George Burns turns 100 tomorrow. He rarely goes out without his cigar. He has three stars on the Walk of Fame, and he's never lost his sense of humor. Burns says the funny one was his late wife, Gracie Allen. They teamed up on radio, in film, and on TV. 
Burns had planned to play Caesar's Palace for his birthday, but canceled due to poor health. He fell ill last year. He's been battling the flu since the holidays. Just ahead tonight, trampolines may be fun, but they can be dangerous for children. HealthCast reporter Jill Dittmeyer will explain in our HealthCast. Plus, Hoosiers will get a taste of Alaska this weekend. Bob Gregory will tell us when we'll get the break coming up in his SkyTrack 13 forecast. Friday, Saturday, hundreds of used cars will be sacrificed at every area Palmer Dodge location during the great $99 used car sale. Prices, yes, prices are as low as $99. Every used vehicle, $29 down, delivers. Payments as low as $99 a month. Every credit application accepted. Choose from Hondas, Dodges, Fords, Toyotas, many, many more. And prices as low as $99. The great $99 used car sale through 6 p.m. Saturday only at Palmer Dodge West, Palmer Dodge North, and Palmer Central. Since Kittles is one of America's biggest and fastest growing Thomasville dealers, Thomasville has authorized special one-time discounts on eight of their most popular beds only at Kittles. How special? How about 50% off? Half price? Yes, save 50% on eight best-selling Thomasville beds. Plus, during Kittles' 13-hour sale, you'll get 90 days same as cash. You'll also save 30 to 50% on the biggest selection of Thomasville furniture in Indiana. But hurry. This is the final weekend of this exclusive Thomasville sale at Kittles. Roundup is being transformed using advanced Transorb technology into a new Roundup. A Roundup that is complete and needs no surfactants. A Roundup that is rain fast in as little as one hour. Only an advanced Roundup combines these features to give you the best value in weed control today. Introducing new Roundup Ultra. Technology you can count on. If you're just rolling out of bed, do not look outside. The new Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo offers an available V8 and full-time four-wheel drive. On the way, buses are running behind. Anti-lock disc brakes and dual airbags. Getting through. Plus package values of up to $1,000. All in all, it's a great day for snowmen. Making the new Jeep Grand Cherokee greatly underappreciated by school kids everywhere. See the 4x4 of the year at your Jeep and Eagle dealer. Most children love trampolines, and they beg their parents for the chance to jump on one. But 38,000 people are injured every year in trampoline accidents. HealthCast reporter Jill Dittmeyer has information every parent should see. <laughs> this looks like a fun activity for kids, but Lynn Shimp knows how dangerous trampolines can be. Well, it killed my son. Killed him. The day before Ben Shimp's 18th birthday, he jumped on a trampoline. And he landed on the back of his head. And the force of the impact caused his body to sit up. And when he looked around, I believe that's when his neck was actually, the, the spinal cord was severed. This home video was taken right before Ben's death. I thought the trampoline was safe. I, I, just, I never thought it. I landed wrong that something like this would happen. Trampoline, as it tends to be used, by children unsupervised is really sort of a contact sport or a collision sport. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends trampolines not be used in phys ed classes, at home for recreation, or as a competitive sport. I would definitely say, you know, you're taking a big risk to have one. It's not um, something that I would, of course, I would never do it again, but I would definitely recommend um, staying away from them. Lynn says not a day goes by that she doesn't think about her son, but she hopes his death will raise awareness and save other families from going through the same pain. Jill Dittmeyer, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Hmm, tough situation. Do we get a change in our weather this weekend? We do have a change coming. Second half of the weekend, better than tomorrow, anyway. Okay. As a matter of fact, anything's better than what we had out there this morning. Bitterly cold wind chills at times uh, in Indianapolis, really, through the early morning hours, as low as minus 35. But... Nothing like 1994. Look at the snow cover we had then. And uh, the temperature did take a bit of a dip on this day. Two years ago, we set the January or all-time January record of minus 27. Wind chills at that time were just completely out of sight. So we thought, well, why not cheer you up a little bit? This morning wasn't that bad by comparison. Here's our Sky Trackers report. Now we're starting out with numbers this morning, giving an indication of some of the numbers that they reported to us now. Whoops, that's the wrong graphic. Let me get that in here. 
Well, I'm way behind the scale. Let's go to our sky cam here. I got a little confused myself. We'll get this up to date for you now. Look outside, if you will. Generally fair skies out there. At the airport, we've actually come up uh, one degree in the last hour out, uh, out at Indianapolis International now. Ten degrees, uh, 11 here in the weather center. Humidity at 76, southwest wind at 7, our pressure 3028. That is steady. Our forecast for the overnight, uh, generally fair skies, cold, less wind, but we're going to drop down to a low of minus one. Here's some of the other lows now from our sky trackers this morning. Two out of Speedway and down in the Greenwood area were the coolest in the metropolitan area. And then we ended up with a lot of uh, single numbers. Leslie Durham here with three. Uh, uh, we had two up in Kokomo from Tom Symes and a zero, Mike Lewis over in Muncie. So indeed, it was fairly cool. Now, this uh, frontal system, the one that brought our storms, kicked temperature is up to 64 in Syracuse, New York today. Set a record for those folks, and then it beat it off the shore with 60 and 70 mile an hour winds, not unlike what we had here. That baby is out of the picture now, no more concern. Underneath the clouds here, a little patch of cloudiness, but the next system for us here, and then the first part of this week, you can just barely see this front, which is way off the Pacific. Right now, there's a couple of flurries in the atmosphere. Those will continue scooting out uh, to the east, and with that, fortunately, no snow cover tomorrow, but we'll drop down to minus one here and in Muncie as well. Lafayette probably level off at zero in the afternoon. We'll hit the low 20s with clouds then increasing throughout the afternoon. A chance of a flurry, but those will really be more likely tomorrow night on into Sunday, giving us maybe a cover of snow, and that's about it. While this real cold air drifts across the Great Lakes, you can see a little bit of bulge here of some milder temperatures, comparatively speaking. That will get into our picture the first of the week. So the forecast again for you during the overnight period, generally fair skies. Minus one will be the morning low. Eight o'clock will jump up the other side of a zero. Should have one on the plus side with partly sunny skies. Then as the afternoon goes along, the clouds are going to increase. Just a chance of a flurry for us. 22 will be our Saturday high. Winds out of the south, southeast from 8 to 16. And then for tomorrow night, a bit of snow or flurries. Maybe enough to give us a cover. Uh, 16 will be the low. And then flurries in the morning on Sunday. But look at that. We should top out at uh, 32 degrees. And then Monday through Wednesday, you can see we actually get milder with our temperatures back up into the 40s. So you have a nice weekend. All right. You All right. too. We have a neat project coming up. WPHR Channel 13 is making a year-long commitment to literacy. We want to encourage people throughout central Indiana to learn to read or to teach someone to read. It's part of our campaign called Read Indiana Read. And to show you how serious we are, tomorrow morning from 10 until noon, Channel 13 will sign off the air. We'll sign off for two hours to encourage you to read with family and friends. And we'll also share this literacy helpline phone number, one 800 267-9029. You can call it if you need to learn to read or if you can tutor someone in need. Our project is called Read Indiana Read because we can't afford not to. Coming up next in sports, Dave Palabro will have more on Sharon Wilkerson's arrest and dismissal. And the Pacers try to tie a franchise record with their 11th consecutive win at home. You'll find out how they fared against the Pistons coming up in sports. Operation Basketball is brought to you in part by Mountain Dew, with the subtle reminder to do the do. Sagamore Health Network announces a new era in healthcare. The Sagamore Health Network, offering flexible, innovative, customer-focused plans. Each organization has its own unique health plan needs, and the Sagamore Health Network specializes in tailoring healthcare programs as individual as your group. It's an idea whose time has come, a health plan designed with you in mind. Sagamore Health Network, providing quality health care programs of the future today. They get no kick being thrown from a plane. A thousand foot fall doesn't thrill them at all. So tell me why should it be true that they get a kick out of doom. Right here, right now, this is where you want to be. Everything's new at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Even new ways to save. The 96 Buyer's Choice Drive Away. It's your choice. Lease the fun to drive 96 Plymouth Neon Coupe for just $1.99 a month. Or get our lowest APR. Or our biggest cash back. Right here, right now, this is where you want to be. For a limited time, only at your local Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. You know, the way things are going, 
I think we need another phone line. Am I missing something, Fred? Well, not now. I mean on Saturday. Everybody calls on Saturday. Well, how can we afford an extra line for just one day? Get a Meritech Flex Line, the lower cost extra line for when your business gets busy. Order Flex Line now and get free installation. Well, there's got to be a way. Ameritech, your link to better communication. Trouble seems to follow Sharon Wilkerson. I'm telling you, there's yeah. something going on here, isn't there? Yes, sir. Good evening to you. IU basketball player Sharon Wilkerson kicked off the team, according to sports information director Greg Elkin. Wilkerson was arrested overnight for domestic abuse. We're also told that Coach Knight will attempt to have Sharon's scholarship taken away. Again, Sharon and Wilkerson dismissed from the IU squad late this afternoon. Basketball now. The Pacers will go after a team record 12th win in a row at home this Sunday against the Bullets. The home hardwood feeling quite nice for the Pacers. They beat the Pistons for their 11th consecutive victory at MSA. Some of the highlights now. Indiana got out of the gate in a hurry. Rick Smith with 15 of the first half, finished with 25 for the game. And when Rick wasn't dominating, watch Reggie cut into the rack. Miller with 22. He's definitely over the flu. Pistons hung around, and Grant Hill is awfully fun to watch. Watch him school the old fella. Eddie Johnson, excuse me. Hill with the deposit at the bank. He had 20 points, and the game winner coming up. Less than a minute to play. Pacers up one. Mark Jackson says, give me the rock. Buries it. Indiana wins it 89-81. Well, first of all, teams are going to double off of me. I don't, I don't look at it as a sign of disrespect. I look at it as a lot of credit given to uh, Rick Smith, Reggie Miller, uh, Derek McKee, those guys, because they demand a double team. But uh, when teams do double, I'm going to have to make them pay the price, and thank God I knocked down a big one tonight. Uh, it was a gutsy performance. you got to give the, the Pistons a lot of credit. Um, they easy could have pulled the game in, but they hit some big shots down the stretch. But I think Dutch came through for us again with that nice turnaround to put us up by two. And, we did a good job, um, you know, coming up with loose balls. And don't forget the Reggie Miller Show tomorrow night at 7 o'clock here on 13. Friday night, that means it's time for some high school hoops, Operation Basketball style here on 13. Operation Basketball is brought to you by the Sagamore Health Network. And we begin our coverage tonight with a double dip, the best county matchup and the top showdown in the city. Rich Knight, a sports guy, starts with North Central at Ben Davis. Time has been on the Ben Davis Giants side against the North Central Panthers. In the last eight meetings, the Giants hadn't allowed the Panthers even one win. But Jason Gardner gave North Central a five-point lead at the half. Jan Price tied the game at 29 in the third. Then Dazzle Adams started a 14-0 run and Thaddeus Williams finished it. Ben Davis has been the giant of Marion County basketball, even state hoops for the past few years. But North Central proving tonight there's a new kid in town. But the Giants didn't give up the fight. BD cut it to six before some clutch free throw shooting secured North Central's 58-49 victory. My brother, he's been up here for like three years and he never won. And I wanted to win for him, so I felt good. Northwest hosting Cathedral in second-round city tourney action. The Space Pioneers launching from outer space early, obviously beyond radar range. Meantime, the Irish getting easy ones and building a double-digit lead. Chris White entertains the home fans, but Kyle Hughes and Cathedral move on to the semifinals. I'm Rich Nye for Operation Basketball. And top-ranked Lawrence Central took their 13-0 record on the road westward in the Brownsburg Bulldogs. Ooh, thinking upset tonight. In fact, second-half action, the Bulldogs grabbed an eight-point lead right here. They started thinking about the upset. But the number one Bears said, hang on a minute here. Buckle it down for some defense right here. Will Jones with the pick, and here he comes up with a follow jam. LC with a three-point lead. But Brownsburg comes back one more time. It's off the backdoor screen, alley-oop style, and yes, the game is on the line. Brownsburg with a chance to tie it up. Less than 30 seconds left. Primetime play. Will Jones with the pick. Adrian Floyd finishes and flushes. Lawrence Central wins. Number one stays alive, 53-47. Let's check out the scores. Connorsville lost to Carmel. At Danville lost to Western Boone. Franklin over Greensburg tonight. Sheridan loses to Hamilton Heights. Lawrence Central and Brownsburg. There's the final in writing. 
Uh, Franklin Central in a slowdown game wins tonight. 11 over Plainfield in a high-scoring game. Noblesville improves to 8-4 and four on the year. Newcastle over Logansport. Whiteland and Center Grove, decent ball game. Zinesville lost to Clinton Prairie. Alexandria, 76-40. Madison and Shelbyville, 56-53. Your final score. Let's uh, talk the city tournament quickly. The, the uh, ninth round two began tonight, starting with the Chittard Arlington game. Both clubs under 500 for the year. Chittard on the break. DeWan Daniels. And, uh, yeah, Donald Holder, Arlington on the break. Mark McClung with the two-hand jam coming back the other way. Can we do the city scores? I guess we're out of time. Again, Sharon Wilkerson kicked off the IU basketball team. We'll have more on that tomorrow night mm. and tomorrow morning you as well. Bet. We'll be right back with more. Eyewitness News is brought to you in part by Farm Bureau Insurance. Serving you is a Hoosier tradition. What's bugging you? I'm sick of fishing. Look here. Harvey's fishing in the Caribbean. Again? Where do you get the money? I don't know. You can receive tax-free money at age 65, plus guaranteed monthly income for the rest of your life with a retirement program from Farm Bureau Insurance. Hey, guys! Look what I caught down in the Caribbean! During Kittle's 13-hour sale this Saturday, you'll find the best Sealy Posturepedic offer in America. Sealy sold thousands of the Posturepedic Perennial Pillow Top Queen sets for $8.99. Think how many they would have sold at $7.99. Well, how about $5.97? Only Kittle's offers the queen-size Sealy Posturepedic Pillow Top for only $597. Plot Saturday from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. Get 90 days, save as cash. The right Sealy bedding at the right price. During Kittle's 13-hour sale this Saturday. Used to be there was only one big guy out there delivering pizzas. Then an upstart came along. <laughs> and with each passing year, you saw more and more Papa John's cars. Perhaps that's because Papa John's uses better ingredients. And better ingredients make a better pizza. It's made us the fastest growing pizza chain in America. For a limited time, call Papa John's and get a large three-topping pizza delivered for only $8.99 plus tax. Critics are calling Mr. Holland's Opus one of the best pictures of the year. If you have the passion, then you ought to do what you want to do. A flat-out wonderful movie. You love music and you made the kids love it with you. Richard Dreyfuss is definitely Oscar-bound. It's in your head. It's in your heart. And Siskel and Ebert give it two thumbs up. Come meet your son. The best of the best. Richard Dreyfuss. Mr. Holland's Opus, rated PG. Now playing at a theater near you. Cold day tomorrow, but I don't think the wind chills as severe as they were today. We'll start out below zero here in the Indy area as well as Muncie. More clouds will come in in the afternoon. We'll break into the low 20s. The chance for a little bit of snow for us Saturday night into Sunday morning, but maybe a cover and that's about it. All right. Join the weekend team in the morning. Stay warm. We'll see you back here on Monday. Why do we call them steak burgers? Because we can. This is what our original steak burger looked like in 1934. Who says they don't make them like they used to? Why do we slice our pickles the long way? Why do we slice our pickles the long way? Steak and Shake, famous for steak burgers. Once a year and only once a year, the Men's Warehouse has a sale. Save an extra 20 to 40% on a great selection of suits and sport coats. It takes a Men's Warehouse sale to beat a Men's Warehouse price. I guarantee it. Come to Kittles for extra markdowns on furniture in every department. Plus 90 days same as cash. It's Kittles' biggest 13-hour sale yet. 8 till 9 this Saturday only. Wow, look at that big screen. Yeah, look at the big Kroger savings on it. Oh, great. We go shopping for a new TV, and what's on but Kroger, Kroger bonus, bonus buys. buys. You know, that big screen makes the savings look even bigger. Absolutely, honey. The bigger the screen, the better. Ouch, that's expensive. If Kroger sold it and had a yellow tag, you'd buy it. If Kroger sold it, it'd be a better deal. Oh, Rolanda, weekdays at 2, WTA.